Well, good morning. Welcome to the farm. It's a cold October morning here, and ooh, it's going to get colder, I think. It's been a while since we've been on. I've had uh, some issues, health issues. I cut my arm open, cut across uh, four tendons in my arm uh, while I was harvesting chickens. Uh, be careful. You never know when you're going to get hurt. Anyhow, um, I'm going to be back, I guess, and uh, got some got some new equipment. We had uh, previously we had some camera issues where it would uh, act like it was recording, look like it was recording, but there was nothing on the card when I went to uh, do the editing. So we got some new equipment, uh, not real expensive, not well, kind of cheap, but it's working, and that's what's important. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of the outside, what we're doing out here on the farm and uh, where we are, uh, take a look at the animals and get you up to date on what's happening since. We've had some friends come out and give us a hand. And uh, thank you, John, for getting it started and Harley and Melinda for coming up here and actually doing the work. Uh, it was certainly appreciated. It was greatly appreciated. And uh, uh, thanks again. So let me give you a little, a little tour and we'll uh, get you caught up on what's going on and where we are and where we're headed. Stick around, we'll be right back. For those of you who've been watching for a while, I think you'll notice a big change in the front of the house. Uh, we finally got the rest of the siding on. Uh, we had that section there it was missing for quite a while. Uh, we were getting Put up uh, a year ago when it turned cold and uh, we just decided to wait and then life happened and summer came and went and finally we got it up with some help from some very good friends like I said. Uh, we also got the windows in which let in a lot of light and we have a real front door instead of that beat up old warping piece of uh, laminate. We've got some other things going on uh, real soon. Uh, we have a shed that's coming in uh, tomorrow and it is going right there on those uh, top of those beams. Hopefully it will go right there. Uh, it's coming in on a trailer and it's going to require that whoever brings it in drive in here uh, across where all this stuff is and, and will get away and disappear to short just across where all this stuff is we'll need to be moving it shortly but he's gonna have to go out into that uh, open area over there I believe in order to back it in and that has been recently uh, worked to kind of even it out a little bit but it's still kind of muddy and no grass and it's kind of soft for those of you who remember the goats, we've got five left. Uh, one of them is not doing so well. She's been sickly from day one and has not been uh, thriving. Uh, we've, we've wormed and treated and done a lot to kind of support her immune system and it just has not helped. And I don't see her now, but... Uh, She's around. Anyway, we got goat shelters, we got dog feed and dog shelters. And uh, the dogs and goats both like to get out in that wood pile and play around on it. They have done quite a good job in kneading down this brush, and it is uh, appreciated. We will um, be clearing that out now that we can see how much trash and where it is and all that sort of thing. Now that we can see all that. We will be clearing that out and cleaning it up here as time permits. The bees, I'm not real sure if they're going to survive. They are not um, out today, of course. It's real cold, so I would not expect them to be. But they've not been real uh, active here the last few weeks. It has been cool, so that not really surprised me, but I am somewhat concerned. I'm not selling any honey from them this year. Uh, I figured I'll just let them keep what they've got and uh, 
next spring when the flowers start up again we'll go in there and see if there's anything left and if there is then uh, we'll we'll steal it from them at that time and uh, that way they'll be able to recover so the goats pretty much eating this down and we'll need to be moving them to uh, another set of uh, grass and pasture here shortly it will probably be out in that area and if you remember the old shed we got a railroad car there with a lean-to up against it and we inherited all this gray lumber the lighter colored one is uh, lumber is ours and fresh and is being used to build a chicken coop inside here. In one of the earlier review um, videos, you may have remember this area, it was pretty trashed. Is uh, all this trash here. We strode over that section, that area, and we're in the process of cleaning that out and getting it straightened up. We'll be clearing out this uh, side hole on this end and using it to store firewood and uh, maybe some, some hay. Uh, going inside the box car, we'll be setting that up as an incubator and brood space for chicks, as well as storage of grain feed. The winter coop is going here on this end, and you can see we're just real simple, filling in uh, with a wire wall. You got a feeder we'll be using. We can access it from this side and fill it up as needed. That piece of plywood there will contain the nest boxes. We'll insert them in there. We've got a bunch of hens, and we'll probably be putting uh, maybe a dozen nest boxes in in that area somewhere. Uh, roosting will be on the other side. I roost running up along that wall, and then uh, water along the back. So uh, one day we'll be using some, some of those cup waters. We'll be extending a run out about 16 feet or about where this container is into this container. And that'll give them some room outside. It'll be enclosed on uh, all sides to protect against uh, aerial predators. Uh, don't really expect any in that small space, but you never know. Right now that shed barn uh, it's intended to be used as a as a barn. We're hoping to get some stalls put in there for the goats and we'll make this area out in there uh, kind of their playpen for the winter. Right now the chickens are running on it and we can see one of the old chicken brooders uh, that was featured in a previous video, a uh, set of videos. It uh, worked well. It's gone through uh, two sets of chicks and ducks and it's done pretty well uh, so I think we'll keep that design maybe modify it a little bit uh, to make it a little easier to work in and uh, work with the existing coop is there you can just, uh, see the build video of that um, if you want and we uh, it's a little small. It's good for maybe six to eight hens, uh, but we've got three times that many, so we've got uh, we got to do something else. Our old tractor there is doing okay. We've got a problem with the brakes on it. They don't uh, last. They don't hold real well, so we can't get it up on the slope, and we have to work on that. That might be a video come spring. Don't relish working on it this winter in the cold, but we'll see. And a little duck pond for everybody. Uh, we keep our feed inside so it's convenient in those blue barrels. And uh, we feed out of uh, feeders uh, spread around the place. They're actually kept inside two fences. One, uh, we move around to different places uh, within the larger one. Uh, and... That seems to be working pretty good. They like uh, like it when we move the fence. You can see the ducks, uh, geese, they kind of trample everything down. And it's cold and wintry, so it's not regrowing very fast. And, of course, our dogs. 
the greatest zombie protection dogs in the world. Since they've been on the site, we've not been attacked by zombies once. And they are always on the job. So, that's the farm. That's where we are. And that's where we're headed. If you like uh, what you've seen, uh, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell. And we will be talking to you later.